Design is a bit like time travel. Designers live in the future. They have to think at least four or five years ahead to make sure that when they plan for their design that it has the most positive impact on society in the future. My profession is car design. Wow, look at that! It's so cute, I want one. I want one straight away. Melbourne Motor Show is very important to car designers to put out their work, to get feedback from the public and from the media. I help design that. There are a number of key players trying to get a sense of where their standing is in society. It's like a car designer's birthday, you know, you, you get your presents. The headlamps are a piece of art, I swear. Look at that. Some presents you like, some presents you don't like. I'm not sure it looks all that lovely, but it certainly is unique. A lot of design is about telling the truth, and a lot of it's about lying. Design is a way of looking at the world, and sometimes you see it as it is, and sometimes you see it the way you want to see it. Now we know where we're going to go in the future if we continue the way we've been continuing thus far. When we see that, we have the power to change the world in a very, very positive way. I don't see any reason why I'd become a car designer and, and continue designing cars the way they've been designed for decades. This is a Globetrotter, and this car won me the Australian Young Designer of the Year. My aim was to get it being more green, but still retaining the sexy qualities. All of the exterior cladding is made of a corn-based plastic. It doesn't use petrol directly. It just plugs into the central power grid and uh, recharges the batteries when you're away. That effectively means that there's no negative impact on the environment if it's done in the, in the way I've prescribed through my sketches and drawings. I'd like to make a change in the world because I've firsthand seen how cars can really impact on someone's life. I was actually hit by a car at 60 kilometers an hour. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon and I had to get to a friend's house. It was a four lane road and I bolted and we collided. Next thing I remember, I woke up in hospital with my mom and dad by my side. The first words I uttered were, what happened? I think it really fueled my need to follow a spiritual path. I meditate for about an hour, an hour and a half every day. First, you need to be in control of yourself. You need to know who you are and who you want to be. But who you want to be is where design comes in. I see inspiration everywhere. There's a tremendous amount of inspiration in nature, and there's also things such as buildings. And of course people, they're always moving and they're always changing, and design has to change with them. The Globetrotter was designed for 2017. Right now we are at an unfortunate position because the infrastructures that we have in place that have been put into place in the past are were quite rigid to really demand a greener solution. Because that way, design can pin that down and say, okay, well, this is what they want, so we have nowhere else to go. Design is like a knife. A knife can be used by a surgeon to help, a knife can be used by a killer to harm. I'm a surgeon. <laughs>